In this video, we'll cover the three items within the Codes and User Options sections that must be completed before writing estimates, repair orders, and invoices. These are Company Info, Tax Setup, and Labor Rates. So let's get started. From the Setup menu, select User Options. Then, click the Company Info link from the list in the middle of the page. Some of the information on this page is pre-populated. Verify it is all correct and complete any fields that are blank. Make sure to complete the license fields if these are required by your state. Lastly, make sure the zip code is correct. Manage Online will use this to determine your tax rates, which we'll cover next. To save any changes you've made, click Update at the bottom of the page. Next, select Codes from the Setup menu. Now, the Tax Setup link. This area allows you to create tax codes in addition to the ones in the chart below. Choose whether or not to apply any applicable taxes before any discounts are applied. To retrieve your tax rates automatically, click Update Tax. Your tax rates are now populated for you. Before leaving this page, Please read this disclaimer. It is also important to note that if the tax rates change in your area, Manage Online does not automatically update. You must return to this page and click Update Tax to import the new rates. Now let's put in our labor rates. Click Labor in the Setup menu. Three labor rates have been created for you. To edit or delete an existing labor rate, Click the pencil icon. Change the information and click Update to save your changes or click Delete to remove it. To create a new labor rate, enter a labor code and a description of the labor item. Contact your tax professional to determine the correct sales class code and product tax type for your business. For our example, we'll choose sales class code 4001 labor and product tax type 2 labor. Enter a cost if you want to use an average labor cost to calculate profit margins. If you want to use the actual cost per technician, you can edit labor items on the repair order. Enter your labor rate in the selling field. If this is a special labor rate for state inspections, smog certification, etc., check Inspection. Click Update to save your new labor rate. Once you have edited or created your labor rates, you need to set the labor rate that Manage Online will use by default. For this, go to the User Options section and select the General link. Scroll to the bottom of the page and select your standard shop rate from the drop down list. And as always, anytime you make a change, click Update to save it. 